Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Explicit Wellness. Today, 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 we're gonna be making baked donuts, okay? Not fried donuts, but baked donuts, okay? As you can see over here, I have my silicone um, molding over here. I'm not gonna be using a pan, nonstick pan, and I already have my oven set for 450. But let me tell you why, um, what are the um, ingredients you'll be needing, okay? But the description will be down below, okay? So you will be needing um, two cups of sifted flour, one cup of sugar, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of nutmeg, um, one fourth of baking soda. You'll be needing um, a cup of milk, three tablespoons of melted butter, two eggs at room temperature, you know, probably don't have to put the eggs at room temperature, but I, I did, okay? All right, so let's get this first step started, and then we'll go to the next. And if you want to um, put sprinkles on them, you can, but I'll be showing you all that later. But let me bring you all down to show you what I have, okay? So let's come down come down if y'all can see it can y'all see it okay now I have already sifted my two cups of sifted flour and one cup of sugar okay so all you have to do is just stir it I like to sift mine to make the consistency more um evenly I sifted my Two cups of flour i sifted my one cup of sugar okay and just stir it up like this okay next we'll be putting these are three ingredients in here this is the one fourth of nutmeg one fourth of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder okay we're just going to put that in there together and we're going to stir that every ingredient that you get you need to stir it to get it well incorporated you can put it separately but i just put all the dry ingredients in here first okay that's what we need and just stir it now you can sift it if you want but i'm just stirring it just stir it around making sure it's evenly Make sure it's even. Okay. Now that we have those dry ingredients in it, now we're going to put one cup of milk. Which I have already measured. And we're going to stir that like I said, every ingredient, just stir, 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 stir it. And that was one cup of milk. Stir it around. Okay. If you see the two that you're using, like I'm using a spatula with a wood tip. You can use another tool if you would like. Okay, and make sure that flour and everything is all well mixed up and incorporated, okay? Make sure you look at the bottom of your mixing bowl or whatever you're mixing it in. Okay, only thing um, different about cupcakes is the mixing and a cake. Cake and donuts are different because of the mixing okay so we're just going to stir this around okay my spatula is going well okay now we're going to be putting our three tablespoons of melted butter okay let me get that i've melted it in my microwave and just put that in there We 
we're going to stir these also in there stir it around and it's getting smoother i don't want to waste everything on me i need all my ingredients in my bowl <laughs> okay be careful when you stir be careful and that was one cup of milk three tablespoons of melted butter and now we're going to put those eggs in there which you needed two eggs i whisked those up already throw those eggs in there yes and if you want to go ahead and cut your oven on you can cut it on for um, 350 and we're gonna cook these donuts for seven minutes okay so why are they in there just check them because every one oven is different so just make sure you stir it I mean check on it and we're just gonna mix this we're gonna mix and mix and mix Get everything well incorporated. My students said they wanted cupcakes, so I said I'll make some cupcakes. And it's one of my students' birthday. Her birthday was today. I was supposed to make these cupcakes yesterday, but I had things I needed to do. But today we're going to, we're making them, and we're going to take them to work tomorrow. Okay. So while I'm finished stirring this I'll be back with the other ingredients okay now that the mixture for the donuts I'm sorry you are early in my video I kept saying cupcakes but these are not cupcakes these are going to be baked donuts not fried donuts but baked donuts so excuse me yes and earlier I said um, put your oven on for 450 450 for seven minutes but the temperature you should put your oven on preheated for 350 for 15 minutes and just watch it okay just watch it so this is what you're needing all right and this is how the mixture is looking okay now our other ingredient which will be our last ingredient is our cocoa Hershey's cocoa and you will be needing two tablespoons of this okay so we're gonna go ahead and first we're not we're going to separate okay because we want one to be white and we want one to be cocoa chocolate okay so what I'm going to do is switch these bowls over I'm not going to put all of it in there. I'm just going to put some in there, okay? So, just put some in there. And if you need to add more, you can always go back and add more. Okay, put this bowl to the side, and now we're going to be putting that cocoa powder there, which is two tablespoons. Okay, two tablespoons, one. If you would like to get a knife and level it out, you can, but I think I'm good with it, okay? So that's two tablespoons of your cocoa powder. That's all we're needing for that. So 
all we need to do is just stir and like I said if you see where the consistency is not right you can always go back and put extra um, the white mixture in there okay it's coming together Get those clumps out. Get those, all those clumps out while you make this mixture for your chocolate donuts. Mix it evenly. mix it all the way around like I said make sure you get your mixture mixed in that even where you don't see any more um, clumps from the cocoa powder okay this is a simple recipe you don't have to use silicone molding. You can use your nonstick um, donut pans, whatever you want to use, you all. But these are baked. Donuts and not fried. And you can all, if you don't want to put cocoa in it, you don't have to. But this is something I'm doing. I'm doing two um, batters. This is what this is, batter. That's what I want to say. Two batters. Okay. Just gonna see how it's tasting. Okay, that's not too much cocoa, and that's not um, less of it, so, yeah. I think I might... I don't know. I'm just trying to make my um, donuts evenly. I'm trying to make 18. I probably, probably will get probably 12 and up, which would probably be uh, probably 14. I want to do 18 because I have two, three silicone moldings. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side. Okay. And this is the other white. So we have two right here. Chocolate and white. If y'all you want to do them on the white the white batter, you can. You don't have to. I'm trying to go a fancy right here. I'm trying to give my children a variety, okay? Yes. So I'll be back.
Okay, you all. I could have went ahead and put these in the oven for 350 for 15 minutes, but I want to show you all how they are looking in this silicone molding, okay? So now they are ready. Like I said, make sure you... That's for to make them even and get the clumps out, okay? But they are ready, and I wipe everything up, you know, so it can look good and for it won't be messy, okay? So I'm going to put them in the oven for 350 for 15 minutes, and we're going to come back, and we're going to see. Um, I'm going to show you all the toppings I'm going to put on them, okay? That's what's up. And we'll be back. Okay, y'all. They are ready. They are ready. They ready. These donuts are ready. And these are how they look. And these are the chocolate ones, okay? So, remember I told you these are the silicone ones? So, what I'm going to do is... Put my rack on that and flip them over and just shape my silicone and see if they'll come out even. That's two, y'all see it? Three. Four, I'm gonna get these other two. Five and one more, six. And this is my silicone molding. As you can see, it didn't leave any too much residue, okay? Mixture on there. And they look so beautiful. I'm gonna turn them over because they were backwards. But look at them. Mm-hmm. And they are ready, okay? I'll put these on this rack and I'm gonna do the chocolate ones, okay? As you can see, I have four of them because I'm getting ready to do a mixture so it won't be messy and get on your, um, your table or whatever you have prepared or whatever. I'm just probably, I'm just gonna take these out. Oh, see, I could have done it like that. This is a silicone molding from Amazon. And make sure you just put um, some cooking spray on there so that they won't stick, okay? Okay, that's 12. And these are the chocolate ones and my molding, here's my molding. show you the other ones I put on there. They need to cool, so those were my other ones. Yeah. So that's how much I have the chocolate ones and those are the other bad ones. Okay? So now, you can put any toppings that you want on these donuts, okay? put any toppings that you want on these donuts. And I'm going to show you the toppings that I do have. I have the sprinkles, red and green. I had them on hand already. And these are some circles, red and green. I have some stars. And 
I have some little beads, red, green, and white, okay? Now, if you want to do the sanding, you can do these are the sandings, like the plain ones, red or green, okay? You can do that, or any color you want. But we're not gonna do sanding. What we're getting ready to do is, I have made some glaze for the donuts, right here. I'm going to do some glaze and others with the sprinkles on, okay? And this glaze for the donuts calls for one pound of powdered sugar, which is four cups, and five to six tablespoons of water, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I did not do a pound. I had a half a bag of uh, powdered sugar, and I did uh, five uh, to six uh, tablespoons of water and I use bottled water um and one teaspoon of vanilla extract so that's what I put just a little bit extra so we're gonna dip those in there then we're gonna put that sprinkles on there. so that's how the sprinkles are going to set on there okay so let's get into it yeah it's gonna be so good Okay, you all, I'm dipping them in there. You can dip how many times you want, but I just want the front of it. Okay. Shake the excess off of this and just lay them on your Your rat. If you see where it's not coated, coat it again. Shake the assets off, and there's the donut. And put it on your rack. And you can put your toppings on there, whatever toppings you want. You can get some little beads and put them on there. Okay. You can do whatever you want, okay? This is how I was looking. I'm going to bring you down over here. You see how the, I have those right there? Yes. So, don't they look good? Yes, delicious. Okay. I'm going to come back to show you the end results. And that will be it. Okay, guys. I have some candy mix. I'm going to try to spread it over three of them and see what it does. I just spread it around. Yeah. I'm gonna make it perfection, but that don't look good right now, but it's gonna look good, okay? I think I cut my hole too big, but it's okay. We're gonna make different kinds. I'm gonna wash my hands and we're gonna spread it. We're gonna spread it with this spoon. And 
just go down with it. Okay? It looks messy now, but we can spread it out. Okay? Spread it around and put little sprinkles on it. You know, children, they don't mind. As long as it's sweet, it looks good. But, and this is good, but we're just going to make it look more appealing, okay? That part. <laughs> it's going to spread it out. It's what you want to do to your donuts. Okay? Look at that one. Yes. Put that one on there, and then do a chocolate one. I think I'm gonna put some more on there before it hardens. That one look ugly, but I'm gonna put some more green on there. I put it in the Ziploc bag, and I'm just gonna spray it out. Okay. And just spread it out because children they love sweets yes they love sweets they really do okay these are the candy melts they came in little circles Spread it around evenly, even, and decorate it. Or you can just leave it like that, okay? I'm going to place it on here. See, this one is already getting hard. Look at that one. Look at that one. Okay. That one is getting hard, oh, and that one is, is smooth, okay? You can decorate them however you want. wash my hands. I'm going to show you the red one because I have red candy also. Okay. And this is what I did. I put the candy melts in here. Then I put it in my microwave for 30 seconds. And then I I don't know what y'all can see. It. These are the candy melts. And then I Took it out and smoothed them out and then I put it in another 20 seconds. So that's how I got that. Okay. Okay, y'all. This is it. The ending results. This is it. This is it. You all look at them. Yeah. I still have them on my rack. You want to see them? Yes. Now, if you didn't, didn't want <coughs> any glaze on them, that's a glaze on them. Only two that I did with a, uh, the candy. Was these two green ones right here, okay? I had a red one, but I didn't do that, you know. Then I put the other to the side. I have like six over there that do not have anything on them. Just like these two. <clears throat> okay. It's going to eat them plain. But these are for the children, okay. <clears throat> these are my baked <clears throat> donuts, okay. Y'all get a good glimpse at them now. And I hope y'all would try them. Yeah. I think I did a good job. I know I did a good job, but yeah. So when you put the glaze on them, you have to go ahead and put the uh, sprinkles on them if you want to put sprinkles on them, okay? It depends on what you want to do, what event or whatever, but 
Yes, you all. This is my ending results. I think you all. I'm going to bring you all up. On me. <laughs> yeah. I thank you all for tuning in to Explicit Wellness. Yes. And I hope you will. Um, yeah, that's more better light right there. And I hope you will try these donuts out. Yeah. And I know my children will love them. They'll like them too. But if they don't, hey. Miss Brown bought the donuts, okay? So we have plain I'm going to show you the plain ones I still have one right we got the plain ones here we got the plain ones still over here and then we have the ones over here that I just showed you okay I love to cook I love to bake you know it's always errors to everything we do and we always go back and get it right the next time or while we're, while we're doing it. Yeah. So I'm just loving these cupcakes. I'm just loving them, loving them, loving them, loving them, loving them, loving them. I'm not cupcakes. I keep saying cupcakes because my church goes, I want cupcakes. So these are my donuts here. These are my donuts and I'm loving them. I'm loving them. Yes, I am loving these donuts. So, these are them. Hey. Yes. So, if you want to try the recipe, it will be down in the description below. And uh, I will, yeah, I will put all that down there. But I thank you all. And, um, yes. I want to say to you all, I'm almost to a thousand um, subscribers. So, um, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share. Okay? And you all have a wonderful day. Peace, love, and happiness. Hey.